this is my old uh, 780 MT it's all totally empty now it's just been sitting around waiting for some kind of use and I think I'm going to use it for a, a um, test bench it's going to be easier to work with than that DT so uh, let's set it up the good thing about this um, case is that it'll fit the DT motherboard perfectly all the holes line up so that's what I'm going to do we're going to install the DT motherboard and then we'll have a nice solid uh, PCI slot and stuff to mount that graphics card and we'll have plenty of room for a power supply and all that crap and we'll just kind of set it up to try to see if this uh, this water loop is gonna work first of all is the 780DT motherboard you can tell it's a DT because it's got this slot for the you know the graphics card riser so but it honestly just slips right in just like a MT motherboard would right in there and I will show you that all the holes line up all the mounting holes every corner CPU holes everything lines up the only thing that's missing is the extra part of the MT motherboard that would provide a, you know another PCI slot for this one here are the screws from the, the DT and we're just going to put them right back in place where they were before all right we're going to put on the CPU water block I always do the uh, two-line method. It looks like a lot of uh, thermal paste, but I've done this like this for a couple years now, and it works good. All right. So this is what we got. We got a little silver washer top, the spring, and then a bigger black washer. Now I'm tightening those down just like enough to kind of um, for the plexiglass to kind of be flexed down a little bit in each corner just kind of like a tiny bit like bowing a tiny bit on each corner. Now let's put the graphics card in. Alright, graphics card is in. Oops. I forgot to zoom this back out a little bit. This is an adapter bracket for the STX power supply. why I don't show everything on camera because it's just a pain in the ass all this is going to get edited out more than likely anyways or most of it I've been putting some parts in here off camera because it's been a little bit of a pain in the ass and just starting and stopping the camera and all that crap just wasn't doing it for me but um so far I've got most of it done I got the reservoir 
in the front here, um, like a normal, you know, bay drive. Um, I've hooked the reservoir, the bottom one up to the pump. This one's got a regular compression fitting. This one I'm gonna have to put a little uh, hose clamp. It's gonna pump the water to the block, and then to the GPU, and the GPU. This one's going to go like this. Basically loop around and go in right there. And then this one is going to go from there back to the reservoir. Then I have to tighten down all the fittings, make sure they're all real snug, and then I'll tip this up and use this fill port to um, fill the loop and hopefully there's no leaks. I'll be really bummed. Alright guys, it appears I have all my hoses hooked up. I got the, the one thing I still have to do is put a clamp on this. These hoses are so tight on here, I honestly don't think I need a clamp. I mean, the, there's not enough pressure in this pump and stuff to actually blow this off of that. But I'm going to put a clamp anyways. Um, I've tightened down all the little fittings, but I'm also going to take some paper towels and put them, you know, under here, under the GPU, around the water block a little bit, and even like right here in the pump and stuff, just so we don't, if we do have some leaks, uh, hopefully the paper towels will keep them from getting too out of control. Then I can turn the pump off and try to fix the leaks. So let's set this thing up and uh, try to get some liquid into the reservoir. Now I'm going to see how I pulled the reservoir out a little bit. If I push it back in, you can just see the pump just kind of slides with it right now, so that's making it easy for me. I am going to have that kind of um, secured a little better, but right now it has to be that way. And if you've never tested a PSU before. These are the pins that you trip. So on the PSU it will be the red and the black. Excuse me. Green and the black. That would be see, see that green and black right here? Those two need to be bridged. So that would be these two, that one and that one. I just got myself a little piece of wire and I put a little bit of um, solder on the edge. Just so you don't have like frayed wires and stuff, I put a little solder on there, make it easy to plug in. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to trip the power supply, plug it in, plug the, uh, the pump, pump in and get some water in there and see if it's going to be okay. So here we go. Took out the little plug. Got a little mini funnel. And we are going to start filling this thing up. Alright, we're just going to do straight uh, distilled water. And make sure see if there's any leaks. Let's hope there's not. I'm scared. Sketchy. So far I'm not seeing any leaks, but I haven't turned the pump on yet. So now we gotta pick, flip the power supply on. See what happens. Okay, I hear the pump. 
I think I got a successful loop right now with no leaks. Everything looks like it's holding up. I see no leaks anywhere. It appears that the loop is good. Looks like it might be able to use a little bit more water if I could actually get it in there. Alright, I laid it down on its side. Now I have to hook up those fans. And I think I have a couple crappy fan splitters, but I'll have to dig around in a drawer. After that we can actually fire this thing up. I might have to get some um, 90 degree fittings for this, the water block, and maybe even a 90 degree on either the reservoir or the pump because it's going to be sitting differently in the in the DT. But now we've got it tested. We've got to fire this pig up and see how much heat it's generating. This reservoir also has a temperature sensor built in, so that's kind of cool. And I went ahead and plugged it in. Check it out. And it looks kind of cool. All right now, it's reading the water at 28.8 C. So, I like that gauge, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> pretty cool. I need to get a little bit more water in there. Oh, it's not even touching the probe. The 28 point nothing is not even touching the probe. Uh, I'm gonna tilt it up and see if we can get a water temp. But now the probe is underwater and it's reading at 29.3 C. I like that gauge. It looks nice. And you can see that pump is pretty strong pump, dude. It's a thermal thermal take pump. I have no idea um, you know how many gallons per minute or however they gauge it is, but it's a nice pump and it looks like it's working good. And No leaks! No leaks. Pretty stoked. Alright. 